Parents are trying to save a Catholic school in Crafton from closing. The Catholic Diocese wants to merge the 106-year-old St. Philip Elementary School with another school nearby. Jessica Guay found out why so many people are not giving up hope. People in Crafton are just heartbroken. There's so much history at St. Philip's School. Countless families have memories of their kids going here, and we've heard stories about generations walking the halls. The community doesn't want this elementary school story to end now. They refer to this school as a neighborhood jewel. St. Philip's School has been touching lives in Crafton for 106 years, and the parish dates back to 1839. But the school's history may be changing soon. I think shock would probably be the first one to use, and then next was blindsided. The Catholic Diocese of Pittsburgh announced it's merging St. Margaret in Green Tree with St. Philip, and they'll use the St. Margaret campus. That flummoxed me, frankly, and, uh, and, and, and so that was quite shocking. Parents, students, alumni, and parishioners are trying to save the school. This group appealed the closure. Not transparent. Uh, input from all corners of our school and, and diocesan or, or, or parish communities uh, were not uh, asked for input. And started a petition. We need to help people. We need to give them an opportunity to voice their concerns and have a platform to share with the diocese why we feel that this was just invalid. Gregory Begg's signature is one of 2,400. His seven children went to school here. It's terribly sad. I mean, you know, it's, you know, the kids had gone here and, uh, you know, we had breakfast with Santa and, and the festival here. They're following their faith and not closing the book on their neighborhood jewel. You know, we owe all the generations of St. Philip students and, and families and, and parents uh, this fight. We owe it to them, too. It's not just about us. The diocese also announced that St. Gabriel and Whitehall will merge with St. Elizabeth in Pleasant Hills. The bishop says he made this decision to strengthen resources for students. To see the petition and appeal, we'll put that on KDK.com. In Crafton, Jessica Gway, KDK News.